Hello and welcome to our story time video. Today's story is Uncle Nacho's Hat, adapted by Harriet Romer and illustrated by Mira Riesberg. So what do you see in this cover photo? Do you think that that's what the story is going to be about? This cover photo? Well, I'm going to read it and we're going to find out. Uncle Nacho's Hat, adapted by Harriet Romer, illustrated by Mira Riesberg. Every day, Uncle Nacho woke up with the sun. He said, good morning, to his cat and his dog. He said, good morning, to his parrot and his monkey. And he said, good morning, to his hat, which was old and full of holes. So where's Uncle Nacho's hat? It's right there. What do you notice about his hat? Oh yeah, it's full of holes. Hmm. What do you think is going to happen in the story now that you've seen the first page? Well, let's read on and find out. Uncle Nacho lit a fire to make his morning coffee. When the fire started to go out, he fanned it with his hat. Ever since his hat was old and full of holes, it didn't do any good. The little house filled with smoke. The cat meowed. The dog barked. The parrot screeched, the monkey screamed, and Uncle Nacho began to yell at his hat. You're useless and full of holes. You're no good for anything anymore. Uncle Nacho! Uncle Nacho! came a voice at the door. Who do you think the voice is? Let's find out. It was Ambrosia, Uncle ne Nacho's niece. She always stopped in for a little visit on her way to school. What's the matter, matter Uncle Nacho? Is the house burning down? No, Ambrosia. I'm just fighting with my hat again. It's no good to me anymore. You say that every morning, Uncle Nacho. So today I have a present for you. A new hat. What a good niece to bring him a hat. Uncle Nacho put on the new hat and looked at himself in the mirror. See how handsome it makes you look, Uncle Nacho, said Ambrosia. It's true. All the girls will fall in love with me. <laughs> That's for sure, Uncle Nacho. Well, I have to go to school now. I'll come by later. Take care of yourself, Ambrosia, and thank you for the hat. And he says, what an intelligent girl. So kind of her. Now I have a new hat, said Uncle Nacho to himself. But what am I going to do with this old hat that's not good for anything anymore? Hat, he said to his old hat, what am I going to do with you? I know, I'll put you in my trunk. Wait. What if the mice get in and start to eat you? No, no, no. I better not put you in my trunk. Where should Uncle Nacho put his hat? Well, let's find out if he puts it there. But hat, you're really not good for anything anymore, said Uncle Nacho. You don't keep me dry in the rain. I should throw you away. I'll take you outside right now and throw you away in the street. Wait a minute. I think I see a car coming. You might get run over. No, no, no. I better not throw you away in the street. But hat, you're really not good for anything anymore, said Uncle Nacho. You don't keep the sun off my head. I should just throw you away. I'll take you right outside now, now and throw you in the trash. There. May some good man find you. Someone who will appreciate you. A decent person. God bless you both. So he threw his hat away. What do you think is going to happen now? Well, let's find out. A few moments later, along came Chabella, Ambrosia's mother. She was coming from the market and trying to count her change. Then she saw Uncle Nacho's hat. I know this hat. It's Uncle Nacho's hat. Somebody must be playing a trick on poor Uncle Nacho. Hat, you're coming with me right away. I'm taking you home to Uncle Ma Nacho. So there's the hat he threw away. And there's Chabella. Look, Uncle Nacho, look what I found, your hat. Thank you very much, Chabella. But I threw this old hat away because your daughter Ambrosia gave me a new one. See, doesn't it look good on me? Ambrosia gave you a new hat so that you threw throw your old one away? I, how will anyone know you without your hat? You're right, Chabella. Thank you. And Uncle Nacho took back his old hat. But in truth, hat, 
You're not good for anything anymore, said Uncle Nacho. I really should throw you away. This time I'm taking you far, far away from here. Then my heart won't break when I think about you. So Uncle Nacho took his old hat to the very edge of the town where the town became the country, and he hung it on a branch of a flowering tree. There. At last we can say goodbye. Under the tree, an old gentleman was just walking, waking up from his nap. He saw Uncle Nacho's hat. Sir, sir, you've forgotten your hat. I'm leaving it here, said Uncle Nacho. It isn't any use to me anymore. Can you give it to me, then? Take it. The hat's yours. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uncle Nacho watched the old gentleman walk away wearing the hat. At last, a deserving person has my hat. May it serve him well. The old gentleman was so happy with his hat that he didn't see Pedro and Paco following him. Hey, look, said Pedro, that old guy's wearing Uncle Nacho's hat. He must have stolen it. We're taking back the hat you stole, cried Paco. I did not steal it, protested the old man. That's a lie. You stole it. The boys and the old gentleman fought over the hat until it was completely torn apart. Finally, the boys grabbed it and ran away. We got it. Let's take it to Uncle Nacho. Uncle Nacho will be so happy to have his hat back. Do you think Uncle Nacho is going to be happy to have his hat back? No, probably not. Uncle Nacho! Uncle Nacho! What's going on, boys? Look what we've got! We've got your hat back from the old thief who stole it! Uncle Nacho was angry. You gave that- I gave that hat to the old gentleman and now you've ruined it! It isn't even worth- it isn't even the hat anymore! Uncle Nacho looked back at what was left of the old hat and slammed the door. How was Uncle Nacho feeling? Yeah, probably. The hat's ruined now. A little later, later, Ambrosia arrived for a visit on her way from home from school. What's the matter, Uncle Nacho? Why aren't you wearing your new hat? I've been too busy worrying about my old hat, Ambrosia. The more I try to get rid of it, the more it comes back. I just don't know what to do. Ambrosia thought for a few minutes. Stop worrying about the old hat, Uncle Nacho. Think about your new hat instead. Ah, I never thought of that before. How intelligent you are, Ambrosia. Uncle Nacho put on his new hat. Hat, let's go. I'm taking you to meet my friends. I like your hat. What a nice new hat, Uncle Nacho. Your hat looks great. And I like my new hat, too. And there's the monkey sitting in the old hat. The end. I hope you all enjoyed the story. Uncle Nacho's hat. I sure did. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for listening along. And I will see you in our next video. Bye-bye for now.